much to the pleasure, I'm sure, of a lot of you guys. More Giants franchise on the channel. I know you guys are looking forward to it. So we're going to keep on pushing wild card matchup against the Packers. There will be more variety on the channel at some point. I'm planning, I have a couple series ideas, uh, but Giants franchise, like the thought is that's going to go on for several more months. That's the thought, right? But we'll have to see what happens. And it all starts today. Packers wild card. They are an 84 overall with an 81 overall offense and an 88 overall defense. They are a very talented team. And this is our first playoff matchup ever in Giants franchise. Aaron Rodgers retired. Jimmy Garoppolo is their starting quarterback. Halfback Aaron Jones, A.J. Dillon, I'm sure will play quite a bit. Ben Mason's the fullback. Juju Smith-Schuster. They got Boo Boo Smith out there, Boo Boo Schuster. Jarvis Landry. Sammy Watkins, who won't play. Romeo Dobbs, the rookie or in real life, and Christian Watson as well. Uh, we'll see the field. Both the same draft class, of course. Mike Kosicki was brought in. We looked at this team at the end of the last episode. And at left tackle, David Bakhtiari is going to be a big problem today for our pass rush. David Edwards was brought in. They also have John Runyon Jr. Center is Josh Myers. Right guard, Royce Newman. And right tackle is David Questenberry. On defense, Dean Lowry will play. Right end is Devontae Wyatt. Of course, 3-4 defensive end, so he's going to be a rush D tackle. With Kenny Clark to Daryl Slayton in there as well. I guess, does he go by TJ now? Rashawn Gary at outside linebacker. Devondre Campbell and Quay Walker up the middle. Right outside linebacker, another rush backer is Preston Smith, with their corners being pretty good. Jair Alexander, Rasul Douglas, Eric Stokes, and at free safety, Darnell Savage. Strong safety is Adrian Amos and Nathan Duval. Hold on a second. Nathan Duval, rookie safety out of Nebraska. Any relation to the Giants rookie tight end, Nick Duval? A little bit bigger, 6'4, 240. Maybe facing his little brother today. All right. We have a press conference here prior to the playoff game. Coach, you're heading into your first playoff game. Playoff success often makes or breaks a career. How important is your first playoff win? Well, we're not going to guarantee a win, right? It's our first time we're getting here. We've experienced some losing in the past. And, you know, nothing is guaranteed, clearly. Every game's important. When you're playing a playoff team, you have to bring your best. So here, no risk, no, no reward. I get it. Beat the Packers for a staff points reward. I don't want to mess around and say, oh, we're going to win. And then the Packers are fired up about it and crush us. Quick look at the playoff bracket as us facing the Packers. The winner of this game goes on to play the Bears. We have their first round pick, by the way. Falcons, Eagles, and then Rams, Cowboys. Actually, the winner of this game would not play the, uh, the Bears, right? We'd go down into this bracket and the lower seeded team would play them. I can't guarantee. I, I, I just don't remember how it works with the seeding. Unfortunately, I know it seems like I should know. Uh, I think it it changes depending on who wins, right? Don't remember. Defending Jimmy G has to start with defending the short pass, right? If Jimmy G beats us passing down the field, all right, you got us, Jimmy. Uh, we're going to go half pads and starters on defense and then throw it deep, I think, seems to make sense. And then for the offense, though, I'm going half pads and I'm going backups. I don't need the XP. Maybe maybe tight end we can do split. But I, I want Saquon to play. I don't want to risk injury. I don't want to risk stamina being an issue. And we'll start training. Just need the team to stay healthy. That's all it is. Defense, ready to go. Offense. Saquon got some fatigue points back. But a high ankle sprain for Lane Taylor. So we have depth. Former Packer, by the way. We have depth on the uh, offensive line depleting a little bit. Home playoff game, we're breaking out the alternate classics, and hopefully it's enough to beat the Packers. Home playoff game against Jimmy Garoppolo. This needs to be a win. We don't get the primetime game, but we'll see what happens. There he is, Jimmy G. That is not Devontae Adams. That would be maybe Boo Boo Smith. There's Cody Bailey. This could be a good game. Cody Bailey's really started to get it going down the stretch. We know what Saquon Barkley's capable of. These uniforms, by the way, are incredible. Really a big fan of these. We got the flyover to start. Nervous for this game, of course. It's odd to see somebody else wearing number 17 with the Packers now. It's just become so synonymous with Devontae Adams as he was the king of Packers receivers in the 2010s, clearly. And, I mean, you could make a really, really good case that he's the best Packers receiver of all time. There are some guys historically 
that put up some great numbers like Don Hudson in like the really early days of the NFL. And then after that, of course, you had, you know, Sterling Sharp before injury. Donald Driver put up some good numbers. Javon, Va uh, Javon Walker for a little bit. Uh, Greg Jennings, I think we, we all are going to know. Uh, and then Jordy Nelson, I would say, is the best one most recently before Devontae Adams. But I, I think Devontae Adams would have to be the best one. I can't count someone that played before indoor plumbing existed. So we'll, uh, we'll say Devontae Adams is the best. But there is Romeo Dobbs, ready to return. We are ready to go. Wyatt Anthony, let's start this playoff game. Wild card round, Packers, Giants, we are underway in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This kick will go through the uprights. The Packers will get the ball at the 25 as Jimmy Garoppolo will take the field. He actually had a pretty incredible season. Over 4,600 yards, mid-30s for touchdowns, and what was that, 11 interceptions? Pretty good year for Jimmy G. I would still expect to see a very strong running game as Jimmy G will keep it. Big play, Darnay wraps him up. It's only a gain of one. We're showing blitz early. They might choose to run here on second and nine, but no, it's gonna be a drop back to pass. It's gonna be a screen. Aaron Jones, one-on-one, -on -one, loses the battle. It's Xavier McKinney in the backfield. Great way to read the screen. Downhill trigger, react. He's not fooled. He sifts his way through the would-be blockers. Two guys out there, he just kind of runs around them. Brings down Jones in the backfield. That's a really good start for our defense here. Packers trying to get a little bit too cute. Quarterback run to halfback screen. We are all over it. And we are sending heat. Jimmy throwing a crossbody on the run and is nearly intercepted by Dory Jackson. The pass fall is incomplete. Not a good start for the Packers. And we'll get the football right back. Jimmy G kind of like crossbody, like back foot. Not good into traffic catching a break that this one's not going the other way via interception but a good Larry Smith return could pretty much bring it back to where we would have had it anyway and Larry Smith brings it to Packers territory what a start for the Giants we haven't even touched the football yet and there is Cody Bailey ends up with 4,700 passing yards on the nose I believe that is the rookie record and I think very close to the rookie record for passing touchdowns of course broke the rookie record for interceptions as well that's not so good. And we'll start by running. Saquon looking for space. Blockers, not great. And Saquon can only get back to the line. Maybe the RPO game wouldn't be a bad idea today. We'll give it to Saquon. And he'll get a few that time. But it brings up third and seven. You could argue that this is four down territory based on where we are in the field. But Odell Beckham Jr. is wide open. And he can't bring it down. Ball came out a little bit too late. And we didn't really get close enough to the marker to try and go for this on fourth down. Uh, just didn't see Odell until it was too late. Cody Bailey reading the other side of the field. Uh, Packers ready for a fake here. This is a 61-yard attempt, but Wyatt Anthony has drilled these. Andy has the wind. Put us on the board, Wyatt. Kick is up. Staying good. And it had the leg, because of course it did. It's Wyatt Anthony from the 50. Drills it. We'll take a 3-0 lead. Garoppolo with time will eventually throw it away in the direction of Aaron Jones. Incomplete. Garoppolo, another back foot throw. This time has a receiver. And the receiver maybe got his feet down. This is a really close play. I'm actually shocked they're not going to review this. Garoppolo, again, with plenty of time. Because of course he does. Ends up throwing all the way down the field in the direction of Dontrell Cobb. And yes, Boo Boo Schuster. And Juju came back to get the football, went sky high, airborne, got the left down, did not drag the right. That would have been a huge play for the Packers on second and long. Brings up third and 10 here. Just under eight minutes to play. And Jimmy will just check down. Another incomplete pass. And the Packers will punt for a second time in two drives. First and 10. We're going deep. Nick Duvall can't get it, and it's picked off by Jair Alexander. Taking a deep shot on first down, and it doesn't end up working out. Ball came out slightly too late, and the pass is tipped and eventually intercepted by the all-pro corner. And the Packers get the football back just like that. 
early mistake for Cody Bailey. We haven't seen so many, but Gasicki's got speed. He's faster than all the Giants. It's a huge play for the Packers. Their first real completion of the game. 39 yards for the tight end Gasicki, who just kind of runs this little mesh concept. Kayvon Thibodeau in coverage, and that's a mismatch. And then beyond that, we just didn't have the speed somehow to catch up with the, the big tight end. That's crazy. And that's off coverage. First down for Juju. First and goal for the Packers from the six. Really taking advantage of this turnover here. But great coverage by Dontrell Cobb on Juju Smith-Schuster. Knocks the football away. And then we maybe had a chance for an interception there. But that's really good coverage by the rookie linebacker. Second and goal for the Packers. Got a receiver coming in motion, and we abandon the gap. Aaron Jones hits four as a result. Third and goal. It looks like it's going to be a run. Jordan Hicks is there. Nobody can bring down A.J. Dillon, and it's a Packers touchdown. How many linebackers did we have on the field? Dontrell Cobb, Jordan Hicks, Tay Crowder. Dontrell Cobb, I mean, he's just getting blocked out of the way. Jordan Hicks missed the tackle. Derek Cooper is lying on his back. Tay Crowder just doesn't really pop him back enough. And the Packers get on the board with a touchdown, and they take the lead 7-3. Big points off the turnover. That's a, it's a big mistake by the rookie quarterback, Bailey. A little bit unlucky off the tip, of course, but maybe, uh, maybe not the right move on first down. Third and inches. Got to give it to Saquon here. We need Glowinski to get out there earlier. You got to you got to pull faster. First and 10. I think we're going to look to work off play action here following the first down run. It's exactly what we do, and we're going to throw for Duvall. Nice catch by Nick Duvall. Got the football out quickly. Good concept. You get Rashawn Gary in coverage. That's something you're going to look to take advantage of. Jair in the zone, by the way. Need to get him out of it so that potentially we can target him on the field. We're going to throw back for Odell Beckham Jr., that's a nice catch and a great throw from Cody Bailey. We're on the opposite hash throwing the comeback. That is not an easy throw. That is not an easy throw for Cody Bailey. Good timing. Odell does a really good job to shield away from the corner. And we pick up the first. A little check down to Barkley. Make somebody miss. Come on, Saquon. I just always like the idea of getting a blocker out there in front. And it just never ends up working out the way I anticipate. Brings up third and six. We're going to work off play action. We're going to throw a little crosser. Jair read it well. Larry Smith can't bring it down. Yeah, that's pretty incredible. Jair Alexander in a deep zone here, as we can see the play art, is such a good corner that with his back turned, can somehow see Cody Bailey throwing behind him, turns around, and ends up making a play in the football. It's just next level. Next level. It is. Fourth and six. We're going to try another field goal. Won't give us the lead if we make it, obviously but it does keep us right in this game. Seven to six, Wyatt Anthony again, keeping us in games. Second and two, maybe the last play of the first quarter will be a slant route as Darnay Holmes wraps up Juju Smith-Schuster. And it was the last play of the first quarter. We'll switch sides, trying to continue to stay in this game against the Packers. In order to do that, holding them to a field goal is gonna be really important. Yeah, touchdown, it's still a one possession game if we get a two point conversion. But uh, we don't want them to score a touchdown. We want to keep this as close as possible. And three or fewer points is going to be the way to do that. As there were just too many options. We blitzed and they ran short routes. We've been successful blitzing the entire year. That could be the way to do it. Jimmy G targeting Adoree. And Adoree Jackson cannot intercept the pass. One-on-one -on -one with the streak. Read it well. Couldn't come away with the football. Really looked like it was more intended for a Dory Jackson than anybody else. It's play action, and oh my goodness, was Derek Cooper cooked by Mike Gesicki. He has the speed. He doesn't have the instincts and coverage to keep up with him, and that's just a big mistake. That's just a big mistake. He just can't hang in coverage. First and goal for the Packers. Gesicki already 75 yards receiving in this game. Here's a run up the middle. Jones looking for space, gets a yard. Here's another run. Jones up the middle, still on his feet, and is brought down by Dontrell Cobb, the injured giant on the field, is Big Cat, Leonard Williams. Oh, no. It's a really big part of our defensive line. Maurice Hurst is going to come in as a result. Third and goal. We need a big stop. 
It's a pitch to the outside. Jones broken tackle. But Julian Love knocked him back enough to force the loss. Check this out. Julian Love there. And Dane Belton with the cleanup. Really good bend but don't break defense by the Giants. And Green Bay is going to make it 10-6. It's a bruised knee for Leonard Williams. We're going to go ahead and substitute him out for the time being. Just playing it safe. we got a big second half. He's not going to be make or break for us here in this first half. Especially if we have a decently long drive here. Which I guess will be the goal. Nice long drive. That's what we want. And that's going to involve a lot of Saquon Barkley. His fifth carry of the game. Although I will say, if we have a breakaway run... You know, that's not going to stop us from, from scoring. We, you know, we're not going to go down early. We'll take the points. Third and one. Run to Barkley. Stay up the middle. Quay Walker met him in the gap. But Barkley gets the football over the line. And that is a first down. Run right. Duvall. Uh, decent block. Another third down. Third and short for the Giants. Got to watch out for Kenny Clark. We got to get that guy blocked, but the blocks are great. Saquon's going to bounce it out, and Saquon's got good speed. Adrian Amos saves even more yards. Saquon kind of saw a little bit of daylight there, but tripped him up enough to force Jair Alexander to make that tackle. Saquon, man, could have been a huge gain. A very nice run, though. A little change of direction for Saquon. Just can't turn on the Jets enough. We might need to sub him out for a play. Melvin Gordon comes in here on second and long. Going to run with... Cody Bailey, Vanilla Vic. As he escapes for nine, that's a nice gain. Saquon will come back into the game here. We'll bring in the fullback, Skylar Styles, And Saquon's got to keep pushing it. Get up the field. Good block from Styles, And Barkley with another first down. We are absolutely destroying the Packers on the ground right now. That's not good. Uh, you know, I was fixing to throw an interception there. Everything I wanted was just kind of running into coverage. And uh, it, it's good that we got sacked. Lose six yards, but it's a whole heck of a lot better than throwing in an interception there. And man, let me tell you, I wanted to. Well, I was trying to almost. So we'll get it to Larry Smith. He'll turn back up the field, take a big shot. And that brings up third and seven. Might have been a better idea to try and get outside with that. But that brings us to two-minute warning. Uh, brings us to the end of the first half nearly. We've had a nice long drive, which was our entire goal that we outlined in advance. So things are going pretty well. Probably don't want to have Saquon going out on a route here. I'd like Nick Duvall to get open. Probably reading the middle of the field. If Odell burns Jair, which he won't, you know, we might look that way. Maybe slant uh, Kadarius Toney. And we'll see what gets open. We're going to throw over the middle. It's Larry Smith. The rookie is so fast, so explosive, and gives us a really nice third down conversion. Just uncovered off the line pretty much. Man coverage, and he just ran entirely past his assignment. I don't know. Love that. We're going to let this clock tick down, too. We're on the one-yard line. Don't want to give the Packers too much time to respond. But at the same time, we're not guaranteed to get into the end zone here. You can see their defensive line. They're really good. Hopefully we're a little bit better. Saquon back up the middle. Good power. Runs through Quay Walker. And it is a Giants touchdown for the first time today. Of course, it's going to be Saquon Barkley driving the bus. And that puts us right back on top, making it a field goal game. Packers in a really good spot to tie things up at least before the half. Three timeouts over a minute to play. Our defense continue to play well. We've only allowed 10 first half points. That puts us in a really good spot to win this game. Continue to play well. We're going to come out on top. Keep pushing the pace. Got to watch out for Mike Kosicki here. They're going to choose to run the ball. Aaron Jones took a shot from the rookie Derek Cooper. And Green Bay will call a timeout. What is the strategy here? I don't know if they're trying to score or not. We're going to trust man coverage. Let's try to wait. Take away their targets. The pass falls incomplete. And just like that, the Packers are in a bit of a tricky spot. Third and five. If they don't convert here, they're going to have to punt the ball back to us. A little check down. It's exactly what they do, and they do end up converting. Too many receivers in the area uh, for us to cover with just one guy, Derek Cooper. And Jarvis Landry picks up the first down, and now the Packers are threatening. A stop there would have been huge. We could have got the football back. Maybe could have scored before the half. And now 
We gotta stop the Packers, and this is not the way to do it. Juju Smith-Schuster, huge gain. 40 seconds to play here in the first half. Packers still with the timeout, choosing not to call it, and 20 seconds goes off the clock. They might be playing for the field goal. Trying to cover everybody. Deep shot to the end zone. Good coverage by Adoree Jackson. Romeo Dobbs was the intended receiver on the play. 13 seconds left here in the second quarter. First half has been pretty entertaining, pretty back and forth, I would say. But this is a really big spot for the Packers. Trying to play good coverage. And that is, again, the tight end, Mike Kosicki. He's down to the nine. Final timeout called by the Packers. And they're setting up to go for the field goal and tie things up before the half. 98 first half yards for Mike Kosicki. And a field goal to tie things at 13 from Austin Seibert gives us a second to try and do something before the third quarter. Probably not going to happen. One second on the clock. We'll run the ball with Saquon Barkley. If he can break one off, great. If not, we'll go into the second half. In a pretty good spot, 13-13. Anybody's game. But uh, it's better than getting blown out, right? So that's okay. We got, a, we got a good running game going. Saquon's been very effective outside the first possession, maybe. And defensively, we got to key more in on stopping Mike Kosicki. He's really the one guy that we'd be worried about at this point. He has, you know, 100 of their 180 passing yards so far, or receiving yards. And uh, this is it's really interesting. Philadelphia and Atlanta squared away right now. 14-11, the Falcons up over the Eagles. And the Cowboys up 34-24 over the Rams. Are those finals? Tough to say. Our focus is going to be run outside. And what do we do to stop Jimmy G and Mike Kosicki? Stop the medium pass, probably. We need better coverage over the middle. But we'll focus on offense first. We'll get the football to start the second half. 13-13 might as well be a 0-0 game. And here we go. Decent enough return by Larry Smith. Gets us back to the touchback spot. And Cody Bailey and the offense will take the field, although it's been a lot of that guy today. Saquon Barkley, five yards per carry and a touchdown. Got to lean on him here in this second half. There we go, Saquon. Some nice little moves in there. Saquon Barkley is the offense right now. Going to lean on him big time here. More running action. Barkley, basically eight yards of pop right now. It's a bit shy as Melvin Gordon will come into the game. And you can see, what are they doing? What is this alignment? Look at that. Devondre Campbell in the A-gap. That's Quay Walker next to him. They have only one real true down lineman in Kenny Clark. We can run right up the middle, and it's Melvin Gordon. Easy yardage. More running. Ooh, Devondre Campbell. Pretty good reaction to that. Second and five. Azudu, that's an okay block. Barkley with another first down. Barkley change of direction, and Barkley to the open field. Darnell Savage can't bring him down, and Saquon with his second touchdown of the game. What change of direction ability by Barkley in the backfield. The vision, exceptional. He does what he does. He bounces it to the outside, and he gets a big play. We've been chipping away, waiting for one of these big runs, and we finally find it here in the third quarter. It's a really, really nice way to just completely change directions in the backfield, find the space, find the matchup, and to get a one-on-one -on -one spot where you can just race somebody to the end zone. And of course, Saquon's gonna win that. Big time score, our first big lead of the game. It's a touchdown, 20 to 13, and we'll look to keep that. Look to hold that. Defense, step up. Take away Mike Kosicki, you'll stop the Packers offense. That's what's clear right now. Okay, they're still going to go over the middle of the field. It's Juju Smith-Schuster. He's also been very productive today. It really just hasn't been only Mike Kosicki, but it's been a lot of Mike Kosicki. We've only allowed, what did I say, eight rushing yards? They really haven't run the ball that much. When they got near the goal line, they did, but it's been a lot of passing, and we see more of that here. We could basically just pass commit, but they're going to run here, of course. Derek Cooper got run over, but there are a number of other Giants to meet him. Dontrell Cobb, Leonard Williams back on the field. And Derek Cooper is celebrating despite being run over. I like the energy, I guess. Third and four from the 50. Big spot for the Packers. This is a big lob and a huge catch on the sideline. Jimmy G with 
a great ball really out of the reach of Aaron Robinson. And it's great sideline awareness. Did he get the feet down, I guess, is the only big question here. And they're not even going to review it. They're going to say it was that clear and obvious. Okay. Here's a run. We got to get there. Azizo Jalari, nice tackle. Second and three. Here's a run. Dexter Lawrence all over it. Jones will lose a few, and Lawrence is hyped up. It's a really nice play. He just wasn't really blocked. Dexter Lawrence is doing a really nice job of taking that away. Third and six. Another big third down here for the Packers. Maybe in field goal range. We got to cover it. Jimmy Garoppolo getting brought down. It's Aziz Ojolari. Man, has he been good down the stretch. Jimmy Garoppolo driving his team out of field goal range. Dropping back, dropping back, dropping back, and then being brought down. Dropped himself. Aziz Ojolari just takes away three points off the scoreboard, essentially. It's a good punt from Green Bay. But that is a huge giant stop. The big blue wrecking crew is truly alive and well here in New Jersey. And we can really take some time off the clock. Second and one. Yeah, check this out. To the tight end. Not a good call. Third and three. We're going to run the ball here. And no one accounting for Saquon. But he is tackled before the line. We expected contact. We didn't get it. And then Saquon's left trucking the air. Dean Lowry saves a first down from our own 19. Uh, we have to punt. I think we can probably convert. I don't want to risk it. It's fourth and inches from our own 19. We are basically, you know, all but allowing a touchdown if we uh, if we don't get it there. That's no good. Middle of the field, wide open. Dobbs takes a huge shot from Jordan Love, who plays on the Packers. That's Julian Love, who plays on my team. Don't know why I continue to do that. This is a run. Nope. Going to be an eye form pass. Kind of a rarity. But it's successful. Second and three. Derek Cooper trying to get instant pressure. Oh my goodness, we got to play Juju down the field. How is he so fast? Juju Smith-Schuster just catching the ball underneath and then running past the rest of my defense. Packers with 242 passing yards to R55. But we have 163 rushing yards to their 15. Or whatever that said. It's a big, big down. First and 10 from the 10, not first and goal. Again, kind of odd. Jones will maybe have his longest run of the game. Second and three. Garoppolo out of the gun. Watch out for Jones. It's going to the other side. It's Juju Smith-Schuster again. Looks like Xavier McKinney was the one in coverage, and Green Bay is going to tie things up in the fourth quarter at 20. Pending the extra point, of course, but that's all but automatic. And um, I don't know, man. It, just our problem was we played too deep in our own, into our own end zone there in man coverage and they uh they took advantage all right offense we know how to move the ball it's saquon barkley and don't get cute with a tight end touch pass a little draw i mean azudu has got to get out there so we can actually hit the turbo it's unfortunate second and ten it's always a really rough spot to run so we're not going to. We're going to run a little bit of mesh here and just force a linebacker to make the move. Larry Smith up for a decent gain. And on third and three, we're going to come out like we're looking to throw the ball. I think we're going to try to run, though. We have Saquon Barkley. I mean, we got to trust in him. Up the middle. Saquon blown up by Quay Walker. Okay, I mean, I see, uh, I see Duvall going to get credit for it. Nathan Duvall, and, and we're going to have to punt. Again, fourth and inches, but from our own 36, I really don't like the idea of not getting this. And Saquon stopped short again. It's a decent enough punt. He took his time getting it off, though. And the Packers will start from the 23. Yeah, don't love what just happened. That's no good. When you shed inside like that, you, you leave yourself exposed up the middle. And Aaron Jones has a breakaway run and a touchdown for the Packers. No. Packers take the lead 27 to 20. Yeah, we shed inside with, with Derek Cooper, I guess. I mean, missed tackles are going to hurt. Julian Love couldn't wrap up. We kind of got congested towards the inside there and then 
He just ran by it. 70-yard run for Aaron Jones. Big touchdown, 71. All right, offense has got to answer. I mean, too many stops on third down for the Charger or for the Packers here. Uh, we got to be able to not have that. And for the first time, what seems like in a while, we do not have momentum in the game. The away defense can see primary receiver routes via coach cam. The away team QBs immune to pressure. That's not good. We need stuff like this. We need stuff like this. How is that not a touchdown? Block him. We're going to work off play action here. Are they falling for it? There we go. Larry Smith. Nice gain. Give me my momentum back. Second and 12. We had a negative gain with Barkley. And we are kind of forced into throwing it. We're going to roll out with, with Bailey. And he just gets it away. Rashawn Gary in pursuit. And now it's third and 12. Third and 12. I mean, it's really not a good spot to be in. I think you can call this, you know, clear four down territory. We have to be able to convert this. Odell. Big catch, and Odell's working down the field. Bailey threading the needle there. Very similar to the play earlier where we couldn't get it to Odell in time. This time, we do get it to him. Still dangerous, but he's just kind of had these free releases on the inside. And, uh, oof, that was dicey. And off to Barkley, looking for space. Can't get enough. Second and goal. Underneath to Jaden Rhodes, and Rhodes fights and gets the end zone. Touchdown, Jaden Rhodes. And he's wondering, where are the Giants fans? You've been quiet. Amp up. We scored a touchdown. We tie things up in the fourth quarter. Very back and forth game against the Packers in this wild card round. Defense. Make a stop. I mean, our season's on the line. Three and a half minutes to play. If the Packers get a field goal, you know, we could we could be going home. As I record this, the Yankees have an elimination game tonight against the Guardians. Very nervous about that. Hopefully my Yankees come out on top. Check down, big hit, Dontrell Cobb. Jimmy Garoppolo didn't see the check down. Throwing crossbody off his back foot and incomplete. The fullback was wide open in the flat. Jimmy G never got to him. I've been there, Jimmy. It's third and five for midfield. Handoff goes to Jones, and Jones is stop shy. Fourth and one for the Packers, and they're gonna punt. Oh my goodness, from the 42, after the two minute warning, with all that time to think of a play to run, they choose to punt. They pin us at the 11, but our offense will take the field. Three timeouts, two minute drill, and they are begging for us to run the football. Safety's coming back up. Still gonna run. Azudu doesn't pick up the block. Joshua Azudu, please. More man up three deep here. We're gonna step up with Bailey. He's getting sacked. Okay, third and 13. We have to waste a Green Bay Packers timeout here. We're gonna run the ball. I hate to do it, but we gotta do it. Kadarius Tony actually trying to block somebody would have been really nice there. This has disastrous implications. This is not good. 44 seconds to play. Packers with multiple timeouts. They've been moving the football, and we are we are pretty deep. It's a really good punt from Brock Cook, though. And that's that's a really underrated nice move by Jarvis Landry. 36 36 seconds to play is too much time. It's too much time. Um yeah, I don't like this. Don't like this at all. We get Darnay Holmes off the line here. First and 10. I mean, get to the quarterback. Going deep. Down the sideline. Incomplete. This is, Cybert, by the way, is wearing number 12. Wearing Aaron Rodgers' number. Surely will be retired. Anyway. 29 seconds to play. Two timeouts still for the Packers. I don't like the way our coverage has been. But down goes Jimmy G! Huge sack by Aziz Ojolari, and a timeout by Green Bay. Why'd they call a timeout? They're coming out to run the football. They're gonna run the ball. Aaron Jones blown up by Holmes. We'll call a timeout. 21 seconds and two timeouts. Something could happen here. Fox has been money all game though. Larry Smith with a chance to return. He's got good speed. He's gonna go down at the 30. Wyatt Anthony has seemingly unlimited range. 
We just need to get into field goal range to make something happen. We gotta aim for midfield. Up the seam, nearly intercepted. Pass was intended for Larry Smith and was not close enough. Eight seconds to play. We're gonna step up with Bailey and just throw it away. Didn't find anything I liked enough. Third and 10, we're gonna lob for Barkley. If he can make something happen, great, but no fumbles. And we are headed to overtime. 27-27. Here's the coin toss. And we have won the toss. If you guys don't know the rules of overtime, touchdown ends the game. Field goal gives the other team a chance to tie and uh, a touchdown for them would win the game. So, touchdown ends it. Gotta play for it. Here we go. Saquon, good run to start overtime. Saquon with 30 rushing attempts in this game, by the way. Third and two, none will be bigger than this one. Here we go. Good block from Duvall and Barkley is short. Season on the line. We are lining up to go for it. Looking to put the ball in the hands of Saquon Barkley. No jump from the Packers. We're snapping the ball. Barkley up the middle and he gets it. Don't want to risk giving the ball back to Green Bay with as good as their offense has been. We roll the dice and we convert on fourth down. Quick throw off the RPO. It's Nick Duvall and that's a first down by the big tight end. Same idea, same result. Nick Duvall first down. Packers no answer for the RPO right now. They're trying to key in on Barkley. It's not working. Here's a run though. Oh, Barkley blown up. Big hit from Quay Walker. Looks like we got caught in deuce close there as opposed to coach suggestions. But it seems like it worked out. Barkley, huge first down. More RPO. Saquon's shut down. Second and 10. Underneath for Larry Smith, and Smith is going to be very close. Mark him a yard shy, and that brings up third and one. Handoff goes to Barkley, looking for a first down, and we convert his 36th attempt of the game. Fresh set of downs. Barkley open out of the backfield, and he goes down a yard shy of the first. Three yards away from moving on to the divisional round. Second and one, handoff, Barkley, jump cut, power, touchdown, walk off for the Giants, we're moving on. And who but Saquon Barkley, his third rushing touchdown of the game. It was all him this last drive. Saquon Barkley has single-handedly carried this team on to the next round. What an effort from Saquon. What a game. What a game. Why is the game not over? Why did we even kick the extra point? I'm confused. Did they change overtime rules? What happened to walk off touchdown? What happened to that? Hey, editing me. Uh, yeah, they changed the overtime rule. I thought that was going into effect next year, but no, it's this year. So yeah, they get a chance to answer. Okay, that's my bad. I guess we'll play on. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh my goodness, Mike is sicky. Second and five, I mean, we're still going. Football's still happening. Oh, Mike is sicky. I'm so sick of this guy. I'm just sicky of him. You like that? I don't. Throw it at Dontro Cobb. Good coverage on Dobbs. The Don. With a nice pass breakup. Second and 10. Under pressure. Down goes Garoppolo. It's Leonard Williams playing through the pain. Third and 18. Game surely on the line here for Green Bay. Lobbed up, pass, jump ball, incomplete. And one more play for Green Bay decides their season. Throwing at Darnay, pass, incomplete. And now, surely, the game is over. Yes, the Giants will move on in the playoffs. Seemingly, I, I don't know. I don't know how we had to play defense. I really don't. Maybe I don't understand how overtime works anymore. But we're moving on. 34-27, overtime finish against Green Bay. That that was that was something. Jimmy Garoppolo, 25 of 38 for 316 and a touchdown. Of course, we had that interception early, but bounced back. 
Only 168 passing yards, but it's because we really leaned on Saquon Barkley. 37 attempts for 198, three touchdowns. Aaron Jones had 8.3 yards per carry, but that big 67-yard run that they called 71 in real time uh, ended up being huge for the Packers. Receiving, I mean, Juju went over 100, had a touchdown. Gesicki had 130. Obviously, a very different story for us as no one really did anything. A touchdown for Jaden Rhodes. And then defensively, you know, we, we made some good plays. Aziz Ojulari, I think, played the best game of anybody on defense. Zach for Leonard Williams, too, came in a big time. No touchdowns, four fumbles, interceptions, anything like that. Upgrades for Julian Love, not Jordan. Julian Love. He goes up to an 81 overall, jumps up two. Could be good for the playoffs, plus three zone coverage. Okay, Julian. And then Larry Smith. Uh, they fixed Playmaker, by the way. It no longer gives you like a bunch of route running upgrades, as far as I know. So we're gonna go a different direction, I think. He's a great deep threat. I could make him a little bit more slot oriented, I think. Where's medium route running on this? It's not a thing, you just randomly will get that. I would say, I would say slot is what I wanna do here. Doesn't change his overall, maybe it jumped up one. Catching, medium route running, short route running by two. That's not bad. Huge congrats on the playoff win, coach. Let's see if we can keep this ball rolling and pick up another one this week. Yeah. Yeah, I like the idea of that. Seven staff points, okay. And in the divisional, we'll face the Atlanta Falcons. Cowboys take on the Bears. Yeah, I, I knew it didn't link up the way I said the first time. Falcons beat the Eagles. 14-11 was the final. 34-24 was the final. And the winner of Bears and Cowboys will, of course, play the winner of Giants and Falcons. But we do move on. We do move on. Jaguars and Bengals in the AFC. And then Raiders and Bills in the AFC as well. But that's going to do it for this round of the playoffs, guys. We move on, thankfully. Uh, really close game. Really close game. But we do come out on top. It was all Saquon Barkley today. I'm actually kind of surprised he doesn't have any type of upgrade. Surely he was the player of the week. He was. Yep, got some XP. But it's still a long way to go before being upgraded again. Upgraded again, I should say. But great season. And uh, we'll continue it onward. But thank you so much for watching. Update on the off-season stream. Whenever we lose or win out. It'll be the next episode streamed on Twitch as usual and then uploaded on YouTube after as usual. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.